There's still two minutes. There's still two minutes remaining. We're inside the last two minutes. Ogolo Ogolo with a swipe, but a counter steal by Naboa. Naboa on the move. Naboa says, "I'll step on the brakes first. We don't need to rush. We're on top by four points." Butak to Dixon, wide open lane. Edward Dixon will Edward score. Dixon. Edward Dixon is really good in moving off the ball. Lalo na, he manages to recognize those cuts, those easy dive. Talagang andali lang sa kanya ng basketball eh. Meantime, here's Alban. Alcoriza for three. And it will be last touch on. They were still deciding here. Coach Jericho Dinera and the Chiefs down by six points with a minute and 25 remaining in the fourth quarter. So our officials will take a look at the monitor to determine for sure who will get possession with one minute and 25 remaining in the ball game. That was a good shot, a much needed three. That was the second that uh, was came a, on. Uh, that was after Alcorisa made a three. That was an air ball. And then, uh, inaalam ng ating officials, sino huling nakahawa? Uh, the ball at it. Those are, that's our officiating crew. Number 33 is Darius Makashar. Number 16 is our lead official, Dan Marabe. And number 49 is Oliver Atkins. Was it Ongolo Ongolo or was it Justin Guta? That is the question right now. Both players were trying to grab the ball. Galing sa likod si Justin Guta, pero mas kita si Ongolo Ongolo sa harap. That's why it's quite confusing kung sino last touch. Which is why it's taking some time from, for our officiating crew to review that play. Because it's it's uh, it's really close. So they pa kasi sila na nagreach for the ball. Eh. That's why it's parang from a different angle you wouldn't know kung sino talaga yung last touch. I mean you might even say parang sabay nilang nakawakan yung bola. That's why uh, it took some time, and so we use the possession arrow. The possession arrow is pointing towards the CSB Blazers. Blazers hold on to this uh, six-point lead. Pastoran being bothered by Ian Alban in the backcourt. Pastoran on the move and Pastoran is fouled. Ariliano Chief showing some full court press the last two minutes of the ball game. You see coming from behind, Tatrapa, still on Ariliano Chiefs. Although for that kick out, there was a foul. The foul was against Ian Alban, his second personal. Aruna to Gutang. 12 to shoot, Justin Gutang. Oh, nice wide by Alcoriza. Alban to Alcoriza. Alcoriza needs help. Oh, throws the ball away. Yaki Aruna has it. That's what happens when the Blazers are smothering the Arellano Chiefs. Nahihirapan sila humanap ng pasa. Pastoran. Hesitation. Leaner, no. Santos with the rebound. Alban on the move. Alban steps on the gas. Alban bothered by Naboa. And Haruna secures the rebound with 36 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. And a foul given up by Levy de la Cruz in the backcourt to stop the clock. See, both teams are penalty already in the last 35 seconds of the ball game. Here's that drive by Ian Alban. And Naboa doing just enough to bother that shot. So long as it's contested and Hindi will begin your open lane for the fast break, you did your job already. To free throws. Get, uh, or rather, Cranial Viloria and the Chiefs. A tough situation here. 
While Unique Tabo and the Blazers are looking good with 35 seconds remaining. Coach T. Waitang could be looking at win number five. If they hold on to this lead. Two for two para kay Unique Naboa. It is now 70-62 in favor of the CSB Blazers. We'll be back with 35 seconds remaining in the game. Touch and go. That's the charm of the Vivo X21. Vivo X21. Sa free TV coverage ng WNBA. Washington Mystics versus Minnesota Lynx. Monday, August 20, 7 a.m. Live. WNBA on SNA. Uh, back with us, uh, Dito's uh, Phil Oil Flying V Center in San Juan. Well, the, the fans who are smiling probably be CSP fans, but it's not because of the Arellano fans. Eh. <laughs> Pero dito nag-aabak na rin sa ating uh, second game, JRU versus uh, EAC. And fans of all ages <laughs> are happy to be part of the NCAA Aww. on SNA. <laughs> A lot of cute babies in this game. And let's go back to uh, action on the court. With 30 seconds to go, it looks like the CSB Blazers are on their way to win number five which will then help them surpass their total wins from last season. Last season, they finished with four wins. They are 15 seconds away from their fifth win. So that's a milestone for uh, for the Blazers. Especially during the preseason, I think the Coach T.Y. reiterated the fact that they, they are a rebuilding team. And up to now, they really showed that they were able to build the confidence of those players, especially this season. Unique Naboa, one of those steady players in the fourth and final quarter. Now, right, nagahabul yung uh, Arellano Chiefs. Even when the action was going back and forth, uh, the Blazers uh, pushing the right buttons here in the fourth quarter. This Unique Naboa, even if he has six points, he really makes his presence felt by being aggressive and getting those easy free throws. So, kahit the intangibles, he dies for loose balls and securing this win for the Blazers. And the Blazers will hang on to this eight-point win. 